R of low FPS, input lag, and stuttering ruining your Counter-Strike 2 experience? Stop searching. This definitive Windows optimization guide of 2025 will help you maximize FPS, eliminate input delay, and fine-tune your system for peak gaming performance. Whether you're dealing with frame drops, slow responsiveness, or overall lag, this guide has everything you need to ensure a smooth and competitive edge in CS2. So drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in the description. Select the CS2 game and click the boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. Now guys, in the next step, we'll dive into the registry. Editor to fine tune system resource allocation for better CS2 performance. These tweaks will help your low end PC run the game more smoothly and responsively. Start by searching for Registry Editor in the Windows search bar, then right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Once it's open, copy the first registry path provided in the description, paste it into the address bar, and press Enter. Now, follow these steps carefully to optimize your system for Counter-Strike 2, locate the Affinity setting, double-click on it, and change the value data to F. Ensure the base is set to hexadecimal, then click OK to apply the change. Find the background-only entry, Modify its value data to false and confirm the adjustment. Navigate to GPU priority, set its value data to E, verify that the base remains hexadecimal, and apply the change. 4. The priority setting, adjust the value data to 6, then click OK to save it. Finally, modify both scheduling category and FSIO priority to high, confirming each change before closing the registry editor. By implementing these registry tweaks, your system will allocate resources more efficiently, leading to smoother gameplay, lower input lag, and improved overall performance in CS2. This ensures a more responsive and optimized experience, especially in high-intensity moments. For further optimization, we'll prioritize foreground applications to ensure CS2 runs more smoothly. Copy the next registry path provided in the description, paste it into the registry editor's address bar, and press Enter. This will take you to the required settings. Locate Win32 Priority Separation, right-click on it, and select Modify. The Value Data field, Enter 26. Make sure the base is set to hexadecimal, and click OK to apply the change. Close the Registry Editor and restart your PC to ensure the changes take effect. These optimizations will prioritize foreground applications, allowing CS2 to utilize system resources more effectively. As a result, You'll experience smoother performance, reduced stuttering, and overall improved responsiveness, especially during intense gaming sessions. Optimizing your drives can significantly improve both their performance and your system's responsiveness, ensuring a smoother gaming experience in Counter-Strike 2. To begin, open the Start menu, type Defrag into the search bar, and select Defragment and Optimize Drives from the results. This will open a window displaying all the drives connected to your system. Choose the drive you want to check whether it's an SSD or HDD, and click the Analyze button. This will scan the drive to determine if optimization is necessary. For HDDs, it will display the percentage of fragmented files, while for SSDs, it will check whether optimization is required. If the analysis confirms that optimization is needed, select the drive and click Optimize. The process is nearly instant for SSDs, while HDDs may take longer depending on size, stored data, and fragmentation level. It's recommended to optimize any flag drives, regardless of the time required. You can even close the window after starting the process, as it will continue running in the background without affecting your work or gaming performance. By keeping your drives optimized, you can enhance loading times, reduce stuttering, and improve overall system performance, leading to a faster and more responsive experience in CS2. To optimize your system for Counter-Strike 2 and improve overall stability, Adjusting virtual memory settings can help prevent performance drops and ensure smoother gameplay. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Advanced System Settings, and clicking on the matching result. In the System Properties window, locate the Performance section and click on the Settings button. When the Performance Options window appears, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on the Change button, deselect the option labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives to manually control virtual memory allocation. This prevents Windows from dynamically adjusting it, which can cause performance fluctuations. Next, select your local disk, C, as keeping virtual memory on the main system drive ensures faster data access and better system stability. In the Initial Size field, 
Enter 1361 MB, which provides a stable minimum virtual memory size and helps reduce unnecessary disk writes. To calculate the maximum size, first determine your total RAM in GB. Multiply your RAM by 10 through 24 to convert it into megabytes. For instance, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16x 10 through 24 gear 16384 MB. Then divide this by 2, resulting in 8192 MB, and enter this value in the maximum size field. Setting a fixed upper limit prevents excessive hard drive usage while ensuring enough backup memory for demanding applications like CS2. Click the Set button to confirm the changes, then hit OK to apply them. These settings will improve system efficiency, reduce lag, and enhance performance, ensuring a smoother and more responsive gaming experience in CS2. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in the description. Select the CS2 game and click the Boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. In the next step, let's optimize Windows services to free up system resources and ensure a smoother experience in Counter-Strike 2. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Services, and selecting the Services Manager from the results. This tool allows you to manage background processes that may be consuming unnecessary resources. The first service to disable is Background Intelligent Transfer Service, BTs. This service manages background file transfers and often uses idle, network bandwidth which can slow down your system. To disable it, locate Background Intelligent Transfer Service, right-click on it, and choose Properties. In the Properties window, change the startup type from Manual to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. If the service is currently running, click the Stop button before applying the changes. Next, scroll through the list to find Remote Desktop Services. This service is responsible for managing remote desktop connections, which are unnecessary unless you actively use this feature. To disable it, right-click on Remote Desktop Services, select Properties, and set the startup type to Disabled. Confirm the changes by clicking Apply and OK. The final service to address is SysMain, previously known as SuperFetch. This service is designed to preload frequently used programs into memory aiming to improve app launch speeds. However, it can sometimes lead to performance issues, especially if you're running CS2 on a low-end or mid-range system. To disable it, locate SysMain in the list, right-click, and choose Properties. Change the startup type to Disabled, and if the service is running, click Stop before applying the changes and clicking OK. By disabling these three services, Background Intelligent Transfer Service, Remote Desktop Services, and SysMain, you can free up valuable system resources, reduce unnecessary CPU and disk usage, and enhance overall system performance, leading to a smoother and more responsive gaming experience in CS2. In the next step, we'll tackle CPU limitations by optimizing Windows startup, reducing unnecessary background processes, and freeing up CPU resources to improve overall performance, especially when playing Counter-Strike 2. Start by opening the Start menu, searching for MS Config, and launching it. One tweak you can try is navigating to the Boot tab, clicking on Advanced Options, and unlocking the number of processors by setting it to the maximum available. Keep in mind that this setting doesn't directly increase FPS, it's more of a test option for power users. While it won't significantly boost performance, enabling it won't cause any harm either. Simply select the maximum number of processors, click OK and move on. To make a real impact on CPU performance, go to the Services tab. Check the box for Hide All Microsoft Services to avoid disabling essential system functions. Then, carefully go through the list and uncheck any unnecessary third-party services that don't need to run at startup. For example, you can disable auto-updaters, game launchers, or background services that aren't required for gaming. Once you've selected the services to disable, click Apply. Next, switch to the Startup tab and click Open Task Manager. Here, you'll see a list of programs that automatically launch when Windows starts. Right-click on any application you don't want running in the background, such as unnecessary software, cloud sync apps, or extra launchers, and select Disable. This step prevents unwanted programs from consuming CPU power, allowing CS2 to run more efficiently. Once finished, close Task Manager, click OK in MS Config, and exit without restarting for now. By following these tweaks, you'll free up valuable CPU resources, reduce system slowdowns, and improve overall efficiency, leading to a smoother and more responsive gaming experience in CS2. That's it for this CS2 optimization guide. If you found it helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more performance tips.